we made it. And this anchorage so far is very beautiful. It's calm, it's peaceful, and we should get a good night's sleep. We are anchored up outside of the town of San Blas. So we're actually gonna head in, try to catch a bus or a taxi to see what the town's all about. I've heard they have an old military fort with cannons and stuff. So we're gonna go look around. We've got our friends on Luna Pacifica and Double Deuce. We got a bunch of kids. We're gonna try to round them all up and head into town. We had a blast going into San Blas and exploring the fort that they had there. It was built in like the late 1700s, so it was super neat to see. The kids had a really good time hitchhiking into town and they even saw an alligator and stuff. We got some food and all the kids were there. They've been hanging out for a few months together, so they're really enjoying all this time that they get to spend with each other. But today is the solar eclipse, so we're gonna head over to our friend's boat and hopefully see this solar eclipse it's the area that we're at it should be almost 100 percent full solar eclipse so really excited to experience this and especially hang out with friends on their boat while this happens for video explain what's going on what are we watching solar eclipse so awesome. Gotta put this thing to use for something in some way. <laughs> Got up before sunrise, we're headed out 40 miles today. We're leaving the San Blas area and we're headed to Santa Isabella. So I'm super excited to see this island. I hear the water's crystal clear and uh, should be seven or eight hour day. We're getting out early because there's gonna be wind coming in, pretty heavy wind. So we're sneaking out while it's calm and we should get to Isabella before the wind picks up too bad. We'll have a great few days exploring the island.
Well, we made it to Isabella, but we've been battling the weather a bit. This anchorage is not protected, especially in uh, the wind that we had last night. So yeah, enjoyed a peaceful afternoon, but once sunset hit, the wind really picked up and it didn't, didn't shut down until 3 a.m. or something like that. And it was, it was like we were out on an ocean passage. So needless to say, we didn't get much sleep. Spirits have been a little low today. So I cleaned the whole of the boat, didn't even film anything. <sighs> Haven't gone to shore at all. Just kind of, kind of down today. It's, it's hard when you don't get enough sleep and things are rough and yeah. We need to start pushing towards Mazatlan but we're battling the weather. So two boats just left right now and I watched them take off and they're, they're beating into some waves pretty good. So we're not gonna end up leaving tonight. I think we're just too exhausted to leave tonight. It might be a little irresponsible, a little risky to try to do an overnight passage when we're this tired already. So to play it safe, we're just gonna leave tomorrow. There should be a little bit better wind for us, a little calmer seas out there. And we'll get some sailing in hopefully through most of the day before motoring the last bit to Mazatlan. So. Here we go, on our way to Mazalan. Sails up, but we're motor sailing. We're close hauled, waiting for the, if the forecast comes true, it will should turn around a little bit and we should get a few hours of sailing in. But if not, we'll be doing some good speed motor sailing. Nice and easy, smooth out here. Everyone's feeling good so far. Let's hope that it stays that way. Caught up with our friends on Luna Pacifica. We've been buddy boating for a couple months now and we left a little bit after each other at the anchorage this morning. So it sounded like they caught a mahi, slowed down a little bit and I was able to catch up to them, fly the drone, get some really cool shots and always remember this moment of meeting great friends and new people out here on the big ocean and just having a blast. We'll carry those memories forever. Now we got a few photos and videos um, to show everybody else. All right, diesel engine is turned off. We're pointed pretty high in the wind. I got daggerboard down, everything sucked in tight. We're pointed as high as we possibly can so that, uh, that we make the distance headed to Mazalon. Should be nice even if it's only for a little bit because we'll save fuel either way. We're not in a major rush. We've got all night, so we're just cruising along as, as long as this wind allows us to go. All right, sun setting. We are nine hours in. A little over halfway there, so I got a long night ahead of me. Should draw banker sometime around 2 a.m. hopefully. And if it won't be foggy, and if I have enough visibility, I'll make my way in there. If not, I'll drift around until sunrise outside just so that we stay safe. I'm hoping though that we can get in and I can at least get some sleep. It is beautiful out here. Conditions are dying off, so the wind's going away. I'm hoping this wind swell kind of goes with it but we'll have a good night. <laughs> 